We begin at 6 with a close look at Monday's storm. It delivered much needed rain to parts of the central coast. But as Dave Alley reports, we need more storms like it to help lake levels. Steady rainfall washed over parts of the central coast Monday. It didn't stop at all, which was nice. It was at least a consistent sprinkle, a few heavy spots. Um, and we were just glad to get what we could get out here. Especially at Lopez Lake, that's badly in need of replenishment. You can see uh, kind of the high water mark is where the vegetation starts on the backdrop behind me. So you can see pretty dramatically how much we've come down. The lake is hovering at just 24% capacity, close to its record low. In 2016, we were down to just below 20% around uh, November of 2016. So we're still a little bit above that, but essentially it's kind of looks the same as it did in 2016. While some local areas received quite a bit of rain, including more than two inches at Lopez, unfortunately, it won't make too much of an impact. Lopez is fed by three creeks, and once those creeks get flowing, we get significant rise in the lake, but typically that takes about two to four storm events. Same for other local reservoirs, which are also at low levels. Kachuma Lake is just 35% capacity. Lake Casitas is at 31%, and Lake Nasimieno, just 19%. With this week's storm now gone, the hope is many more will arrive in the future and that better and wetter days lie ahead. We're just all waiting and watching to know what rain we're going to get and just in hopes that we get as much as we possibly can. At Lopez Lake, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.